in dramatic footage, Ukrainian drone operators showing how they are causing real chaos among the Russian soldiers. The footage begins with a Ukrainian drone spotting a Russian position. Drone operators instantly decide to strike. Panic begins at the Russian position. The Russian military, noticing the drone, scattered in different directions, trying to hide from the attack. A flame breaks out, and the equipment begins to burn. One of the Russian soldiers, apparently determined to save the property, runs to the scene of the fire and begins desperately putting out the fire with his feet. But his efforts are in vain. The full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine is often referred to as the world's first large-scale drone war. By far the most prevalent type of drone on the Ukrainian battlefield is the first-person view FPV drone. FPV drones possess a number of capabilities that have resulted in a dramatic shift in our understanding of modern warfare. Given their navigation capabilities, these drones have become the preferred platform for mounting explosives and executing targeted strikes. in a new video shared online, showed how a Ukrainian FPV drone hit a moving Russian tank and caused a powerful detonation of ammunition, throwing the tank's turret into the sky. The drone video shows a Russian tank slowly moving along a forest road. At that moment, the Ukrainian military decides to direct an FPV drone towards the tank. The drone approaches the tank from the rear, heading straight for its vulnerable spot, the fuel tank and bombs, raising clouds of smoke and flying debris. The impact is so powerful that the ammunition stored inside the vehicle explodes. The huge detonation that hits the tank literally tears its hull apart, throwing off armor plates. Throwing the tank's turret is torn off and flies to the side, which shows the scale of the destruction. In new cases in the front line, shows a small group of Russian armored vehicles trying to advance toward the Ukrainian positions on the front line. The Russian army is attempting to advance using small groups, trying to catch the Ukrainian defense by surprise. However, thanks to drone reconnaissance, the Ukrainian fighters managed to monitor every movement of the Russian troops. With FPV drones, they successfully repelled Russian attack. Besides, Russian troops have sustained the highest number of casualties in a single day since the start of an all-out war in Ukraine in February 2022, according to figures from Kiev's military, as Russia reports further gains in the east. The Ukrainian general staff said on Monday that 1,770 Russian soldiers had been killed or injured since early on Sunday. The previous highest daily record was in mid-May, when Kiev said Moscow sustained 1,740 casualties in a single day. Ukraine has said Russia is able to inject up to 30,000 new soldiers each month into its ranks. Kiev's figures suggest Moscow is sustaining slightly more casualties than this number every month. Moscow is known for its meat grinder assaults in Ukraine, racking up very high casualty counts with infantry-led attacks to overwhelm defenses. Russia has been gaining in the east of the country since early 2024, its advances concentrated in chunks of the front line snaking through Ukraine's Donetsk region. Donetsk, along with neighboring Luhansk, is known as the Donbas, which Russia has claimed to have annexed but does not fully control. Russia said on Sunday it had captured Vovchenka, a village southeast of Pokrovsk, a key Donetsk logistics hub for Kyiv. Moscow forces have been battling toward the city for months and have claimed several villages close to Pokrovsk since the start of November. The U.S.-based think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, said on Sunday that it assessed Russia had seized Vovchenka by November 5th. Meanwhile, as Donald Trump's election win brings the prospect of talks to end Russia's war in Ukraine closer, Kyiv is battling to put itself in the strongest position for any negotiations, including by securing more arms and holding out on the battlefield. A senior Ukrainian official said the next four to five months would be pivotal, signaling how Trump's return to the White House is focusing minds in Kyiv on a possible endgame in the war. Trump, 
who will be sworn in as U.S. President on January 20, has said he will end the war quickly, but has not said how.